Hey guys, in this video, we're going to be talking about should you become a Shopify developer in 2023? is it a viable career path for you right and who should actually become a shopify developer so we're going to cover a lot of things in here in this video all right so again what is shopify right so shopify is a content management system right um it's a platform where you can sell products right you can have discounts you can have uh secure uh user data right you can basically have a secure payment gateway. You also have access to a whole bunch of different applications. So don't matter what type of business you might have, you might have something like a, I don't know, a digital product, or maybe you're selling uh, products online, maybe drop shipping. Right. So again, it doesn't matter what type of business you have. You can use Shopify to sell your products through uh, their platform. Okay. Now, again, a lot of people use this every time that you see like an advertisement on YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, you're going to see uh, basically products are being promoted through advertisement. I could tell you right now, probably 95, 99 percent of those stores are built with Shopify. OK, so again, it's a platform that everybody uses now. Again, for you as a developer, why should you care about Shopify? The fact that there's so many people using uh, Shopify, it basically allows you to say, hey, you know what? There's going to be a high demand for this skill. Now, becoming a Shopify developer has two different career paths that you could go on. You could say, I'm going to become a Shopify theme developer or I can become a Shopify app developer. A Shopify app developer is more on the back end, right? Basically being a full stack developer uh, to create applications within the ecosystem of Shopify. And a Shopify theme developer is pretty much a front end developer that knows how to uh, create websites, create themes, and connect them through Shopify's, you know, liquid or using their APIs, right? So pretty much it's just, if you ever use WordPress or something like that, it's like the WordPress of e-commerce. Okay. So again, a lot of people use Shopify. So there's a huge demand for it. Now, one thing that you're going to see right now, um, as far as like the sales, right? You could take a look at how this black Friday has been crazy, uh, for Shopify. Uh, I believe they had what, like 3 billion uh, or something like that. I can't remember the exact number. I'll tell you right now. I believe it's like $3.36 billion in sales in Black Friday, just on Black Friday alone, okay? We're not talking about the whole year, right? Uh, so again, this is huge. A lot of people have been switching to Shopify from all other uh, different type of platforms. You know, you might have heard of maybe Magento, maybe BigCommerce. Um, there's a whole bunch of other ones that's out there, even Wix, et cetera. But again, when it comes to e-commerce, Shopify is the number one platform. Now, um, I'm going to talk to you guys about becoming a Shopify theme developer and like who should care about this. And again, if you look over here on codeface.com, you could go and check out the career paths that we have here. Click on Shopify theme developer and you can pretty much can see the whole curriculum of the things that you're going to need to know to become a Shopify developer. Okay. If you look over here, most of these things that's in here are pretty much the things that you need to become a front end developer. So if you are a front end developer, if you have been studying to become a front end developer and you've been struggling to find that first opportunity, that first job of like getting hired because maybe they're doing, you know, whiteboard uh, questions or doing like, you know, algorithms, maybe they're asking for a lot of experience. You know, in the world of e-commerce, you don't really see that, okay? You don't really see a lot of, you know, algorithm questions and things like that. What they care about is, can you do the work, right? So that's something that uh, I will say for you guys that if you're having issues with uh, getting your first job as a front-end developer, this is like a hack. Go on the route of e-commerce. You're going to get a job much easier going this route. So again, all of the skills here from text editor all the way to jQuery, this is mostly things that have to do with the front end, right? So it's just HTML, CSS, JavaScript. 
Now, the skills that you need to know uh, as a Shopify theme developer is understanding the Shopify platform, right? Creating your first Shopify store. This right here is a service by itself. There's a lot of people that go in and pay a lot of money for people to come in and set up the store for them, okay? Uh, so again, if you are into the world of freelancing, right? You could go to fiverr.com, you could go to Upwork, you will see how people are charging, you know, uh, I will set up and customize your Shopify store, you know, 175, right? Uh, look at this one. I will build a Shopify website design or a Shopify drop shipping store, uh, 295, right? Standard 495, uh, 795, etc. More things that you add to it, the more money that you're gonna charge. So again, if you look over here, this guy has 801 reviews, okay, and 10 orders in queue, meaning that there's people right now, as we speak, waiting for him um, to come in and give them their orders. So again, this is something that is in high demand, okay? There's no way around it. We can't, you know, <laughs> make this up. This is something that you can literally do your own Googles, and you're gonna find out that guess what? There's a lot of people that need Shopify developers. So again, a great opportunity for you guys. Now, let's talk about over here as far as, you know, you got Shopify store, knowing how to use the, the platform, creating a store, right? Definitely, you're going to learn about Shopify theme development, creating uh, basically a Shopify theme from a design, right? So usually you will have like a designer. They will give you the design, and then from there, you will go in and build a website either through HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and then convert it into a Shopify theme development, right? Um, also, right now, they have the Shopify Online Store 2.0, which is a way for you to be able to allow the users to basically customize it and just drag and drop different sections into their website. So you build a theme and you give the people the power to be able to uh, go in and customize it however they like okay so that's something that is very important as far as like the skills that you need to have right so again knowing liquid knowing how to do the front end right converting a store's design to a theme and also to understanding the process of creating a theme star customizable okay uh, another thing that's very important to know is like Google Analytics, understanding the process of Facebook and Google Ads marketing. Um, again, you will be setting up uh, different things, maybe like Google Tag Manager for some of the stores, right? Uh, tracking for the stores, like as users go to the website, what products they like, maybe sometimes you might set up some A and B testing, etc. right? So again, this thing is gonna be uh, very useful. And even, you know, knowing how to uh, use maybe a design software like Photoshop or Figma or Sketch, right? That could be something that it could be very useful for you to get into uh, this career. Now, again, um, I'm not gonna go too much into Shopify app development uh, right now, I, I believe that to become a Shopify app developer, it, you will say you have to be like a full stack developer. And most companies are looking to hire for Shopify app developers. They're looking for somebody that already has experience. Okay. So for anybody as a beginner, this is where you want to start. Okay. You want to get your first job. You want to start as a Shopify theme developer. And as you learn more about the e-commerce industry, then from there, you want to go and jump into becoming a Shopify app developer. All right. Um, but again, you know, as you can see, there's a lot of opportunities over here when it comes to like freelancing. Uh, so for those of you guys that want to do that, you guys can definitely go that route but you can also go over here and look for jobs just go on d.com zip recruiter dice.com glassdoor and search shopify developer um you know this is a a keyword that i've been tracking you know for the last probably two three years and i can tell you that every single month there's about a thousand new jobs um, for Shopify developer. Okay. This is a niche within front end development. So again, if you are a front end developer and you've been learning other platforms or you've been learning at codingphase.com and what you want to do is like front end development, guess what? Maybe you need to niche down and say, okay, I can do front end development, but let me also niche myself into a platform like Shopify and then from there you could have more opportunities okay sometimes people just go in and say hey I want to learn how to code and have no idea 
on like what they should do. So again, this is a great opportunity for those of you guys that's into this. Um, shout out to one of our subscribers, Patrick Pierre. Um, he's going to be adding uh, his section for the Hall of Fame. For those of you guys that don't know, y'all can check this out. Go to codingface.com, click on Hall of Fame, and you're going to see some of the stories of our students that have came in, um, started learning how to code, and then from there have gotten into the game as developers right um we have a lot of guys that are shopify developers um that started in 2020 when we started uh talking about you know the opportunities that was happening uh again 2020 was peak right meaning peak like a lot of stores that were closed down uh, a lot of those stores needed to open up uh online stores and shopify basically got a big boost out of that because people that didn't have an online store now they say I need one now to have my business uh, make some money, okay? Uh, so again, it brought a lot of new people into the platform and a lot of the students that came in in 2020 took advantage of that. Uh, just like, you know, Patrick Pierre, currently right now, he's working at a company doing Shopify theme development and he's working on things like, you know, HTML, CSS, JavaScript, Liquid, uh, Vue.js. Um, in the world of Shopify theme development, you might see uh, that, Vue is actually pretty big in a sense because again you could use Vue.js without having to compile any code or anything like that or use Webpack. Uh, so again, Vue is a good uh, framework for you know learning about Shopify development. All right. So again, now should you focus on this? Right. That's a question that you gotta ask yourself. Right. You might say, Hey, I'm a front end developer. I've been busting my ass. I've been trying to get into this game. And for whatever reason, I'm not getting a job. Guys, it's okay. Sometimes you got to pivot. Sometimes you got to say, you know what? Uh, this is all under the same umbrella of front end development. So you might want to go in and hit them with the left, you know, hit them with the Ginobili, right? Don't stay doing the same thing if you're not getting results. Try something else different, right? Add some extra skills that will make you more of a specialized developer, right? So then now, especially with e-commerce, like you're not dealing with algorithms. You're not dealing with, hey, we need you to have, you know, three years, five years of React development experience, et cetera. Like, nah, this is more like, hey, can you do this? Can you go in and help us build this custom Shopify store, right? Do you understand the platform, right? And if you can learn these things, right? Like you're gonna see more results going this route. All right. So again, uh, for those of you guys wondering, yes, we do teach this on codingphase.com. And there's a reason why we, we teach it is because you're going to get results. Okay. We're going to get results. This is something that not a lot of people are talking about. Even before uh, we started talking about, you know, no one else was talking about this on here on YouTube. Uh, we basically one of the, the leaders in this space, in this niche, right? And again, a lot of people that have came in and follow this career path have gotten into the job positions. All right. So again, this is something that uh, you got to ask yourself and say, do I just want to stay here trying and trying and trying until finally one day I get an opportunity? Or do you say, you know what, let me make uh, this little pivot, right? Uh, which is I'm still going to be doing front end development, but let me specialize in this, you know, this whole platform and, and get some results. And at the same time, make some money on the side. If you are one of those individuals that are planning on coming into the industry, like I always tell you of, hey, come in, get your job build your capital, right? Build some side income and then quit being a developer for somebody else. This is the perfect way to do it straight up. Because again, you could come in as a Shopify theme developer, right? Learn everything within the company, learn how the uh, e-commerce industry is. Then from there, create your own Shopify theme, sell it on Etsy, sell it on theme forest or sell it on your own platform, your own website, right? Um, again, you could do fiber, you could do Upwork. So again, you could find ways to make your own income, especially for people that are living outside of the United States. You know, we have a lot of success with students that come from Mexico, students that come from uh, Colombia and like Latin America, that they focus on learning about Shopify development, and they've been able to make a living, you know, remotely, okay, without having to live in the United States, but getting paid us dollars you know what i mean like uh for those of you guys that live outside of the us you know a uh, 60 70 thousand dollar job you know 
that's life changing. Now, for those of you guys that's here in the United States, guess what? There are some jobs that you will get paid a lot of money, right? You could get paid anywhere from eighty to a hundred thousand just starting, right? You could get paid, you know, more than a hundred thousand dollars as you build more experience and you could demand more. Okay. So again, you can see this um through here. Just do your own research. You know, you don't have to believe anything that I tell you or that I display here. Do your own research and, and look it up. Okay. Uh, but again, uh, when you have a chance, come in, check out the curriculum that we have on Shopify. And I can tell you right now, like, this is something that's solid, right? Uh, I can guarantee you most of you guys already have all of the skills. So all you really need right now is to start learning the Shopify platform and start learning how to build Shopify themes and building a portfolio that's geared towards the e-commerce industry so you can get that position. Okay. Again, um, if you're a diamond member, you get access to all the courses on codingphase.com, all the different bundles. And, you know, you get access to me so I could help you out on this journey while you're getting this job opportunity. So, again, guys, hopefully you guys like this video and see the benefit of Shopify development. And maybe for some of you guys that are on the fence of like, hey, should I do this? Should I not do this? Maybe this could make it a little bit more clearer for you guys and you guys can see the benefits that Shopify has especially in this economy, okay? So anyways, guys, this is your boy Joe back at it again, codingphase.com. Your boy is back and out and did it again one more time. Peace.